Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading for August 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It is a general love reading, and so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And also because it is general, the roles can be reversed. Alright, so let's see. What is going on with Gemini for the first half of August? What is the overall energy? All right, and we have compromise, okay. So either a compromise is needed or somebody is thinking about making a compromise in order for this connection to work or for something to happen. So we're gonna get into it and see what that is about. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of August, 2021. All right, so I will take these. We have the, for the situation, the Three of Swords crossed by Justice. All right, so somebody is trying oh, somebody is trying to do the right thing here. Somebody is trying to make a major decision, but possibly hesitating because it is going to cause some pain. Um, it definitely feels like there's a separation that is kind of lurking in the atmosphere. Um, but somebody is having a very difficult time actually f either finalizing it or just bringing it in a way where it will be um, just, like feeling a sense of justice when it comes to a separation. So we'll see what that's about. Maybe this is where a compromise is actually needed. We have the Two of Swords in the recent past. So there was definitely a lot of stagnation or just inactivity, kind of just um, stagnating in the situation for a while. In the near future, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so this is some kind of an emotional expression coming through here. Let's see for you, we have the Two of Wands. For them, we have Death, all right. More about you is the King of Cups. For them, the Knight of Pentacles and potential outcome here is the Knight of Cups. All right, so again, keeping in mind that the roles can be reversed. What I'm seeing here for you is that, yeah, it's, it feels like you're waiting. You're waiting for something. Um, you, you possibly have a plan, you know what you want to do, but you just haven't really taken like I said, finalizing. So again, but that finalization could be on your person's end, could be on your end, could be multiple situations going on here. At the same time, I feel like you definitely have a lot of um, love for someone here, okay? Whether it is this person here that there's a separation or whether it be somebody else. But I also feel like you're getting to this point where you are feeling more emotionally secure within your own self and just more stable when it comes to to your emotions in one aspect at least for your person there's definitely an ending here um something's done there's there's a situation that that is um ending for them or is already done and this is pushing them to move possibly in a different direction or to move forward from whatever this ending is, whether it be you or whether it be something else in their life. All right, whatever the case, there's definitely some communication coming up in the near future and the potential outcome is a, a love offer coming in. So it feels a little bit complicated. Let's clarify. So now, seeing this compromise card after having seen the major energies with the tarot, I feel like this is somebody really understanding that, yeah, you know, um, it's difficult sometimes to bring an ending 
or to deal with pain or to find justice within pain. But sometimes, you know, we, we realize that you, there's always something that needs to be compromised when we do that. You know, you, you lose something, but then you gain something as well. So that could be what the um, compromise is here. So let's clarify the Three of Swords with Justice. Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. All right, yeah, see, so there's definitely a situation here that is involving a lot of love, a deep, deep love, and that's why there's also um, so much pain here, and somebody wants to make, to make something right. Um, there's a lot of sorrow, a lot of regret on somebody's side. I'm still not sure whether this is you or whether this is them. But somebody is feeling a lot of regret for the past and possibly feeling regret for having denied love or having rejected love, having said no to love, having deceived themselves when it comes to love. And this is causing a lot of, a lot of pain, a lot of pain and um, wanting to make it right. Wanting to make it right, but having a hard time just really finalizing a decision. So let's clarify the Two of Wands for you. Alright, Strength, the Hermit, and the Ten of Pentacles. So you're stronger than you think. I feel like this is something you've also been working on is your is your strength. And I feel like what really you're what you're coming to realize is that you can only find strength from within your own self. You cannot gain strength from other people or from outside of yourself. You you want to have a commitment. You want um, something stable here with a particular person. But I feel like there's also a decision that you need to make as well. Or there's some kind of action that you know you should make. And you're kind of just either waiting or stalling a little bit. Because you know that it's going to take strength. And I feel like you've kind of, maybe in the past you were waiting for that strength to just come out of nowhere. Or um, trying to get it from other people or from outside sources. Now realizing that you can't. It can only come from within your own self. So I feel like that's where you are. So it could be that you are, <clears throat> that you've been waiting to either move away from this connection or you were waiting to move towards this connection, okay? It could go either way, depending on your situation. Let's see the King of Cups. Or possibly even going away from one situation and moving towards another situation. It could be both for some of you. It really depends. For the King of Cups, Let's see the King of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You're definitely moving in a direction of finding your own grounding. All right, so not only are you becoming more emotionally secure, which I think is fantastic. All right, um, and I feel like that is actually coming in with that strength that you're finally finding from within. This is bringing you emotional stability, and at the same time, it's also bringing you um, some grounding and just feeling more secure, even within your environment. And of course, this is when you listen to your intuition. When you finally decide, you know what? No matter how difficult whatever it is um, that I need to do, I have to follow my intuition. That is what is helping to push you forward and helping you to find that stability within yourself. So I, it feels like, you know, you already know the answers. You already know the answers. They're, they're within you. So looking to the outside for these answers just hasn't gotten you anywhere. And this is something that you're realizing or learning. So let's see for the other person here. Let's see death. All right, the Page of Cups, 
the moon and the empress okay interesting so for some of you definitely if you're cross watching i mean the, the roles can definitely be reversed regardless um yeah this this other person here is definitely processing um an ending but it feels more like it's done with the situation for now in the way that the situation is now it, it doesn't feel like it's actually a complete ending i feel like it's just this person really um knowing what they want knowing that things need to be in a certain way but there's also a little bit of there might be a little bit of hesitation when it comes to this ending. It's like the ending is, is here, but it's also not here. So it's interesting because we have the Page of Cups here for this person. Um, I feel like this is something that... If this person has ended or is ending the connection with you, they still have emotions. They still have emotions for you. Um, but are possibly either repressing them as a means of working on themselves, really trying to find themselves, really trying to put their get their life in order because of whatever it is that was happening. So that could be another thing here that maybe the two of you need to compromise on what for whatever your issue is. Um, but again, I don't necessarily feel like this compromise is actually between the two of you. In some situations, I feel like the compromise might be just for that one person needs to compromise something in order to have something else within this connection. And I feel like that is just going to be a theme here for, for the first half of August. So this person is, um, if they feel like, if it feels like they have ended things with you, um, yes, I feel like that is the case for now but it's not something that they are completely over. They're doing this in order to um, find their own self and to actually work on their own self, but the emotions are still there and they still have some repressed feelings here. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. So to me, this is coming across more as a transformation. And because of that transformation, it's like, yeah, you know, things cannot continue on in the way that they have been because, well, there was some kind of a stagnation here and this brought a lot of pain. So for the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords and the Hierophant. See, so there's that Two of Swords again. So I feel like, yeah, you know, there's some stagnancy actually that was present on both sides, possibly for different things. And because they were stagnating on whatever their issue was, you may have been stagnating on whatever your issue was, could be even just be waiting. Um, things just weren't getting anywhere. But see, that's changing now. I see this person actually moving forward, all right, with the Knight of Pentacles, coming in more in a more grounded way, um, just really putting things in order. I feel like what it is that they want to accomplish with that death here i feel like they are moving in that direction although still some back and forth you see so there there's hesitancy when it comes to this ending because they're feeling this connection here they feel that this is a very very strong connection um with you or if it's another situation with that other situation so there is still some hesitancy with whatever with whatever that death is whatever that ending is. Let's see the Page of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles, oops. The Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Two of Wands again. I feel like there's a lot of mirroring here between the two of you. Um, it almost feels like you're getting 
the same card showing up as clarifiers, what the other person had as main energies. It, it just kind of um, feels that way to me. So coming up, there's definitely going to be some kind of a communication here. Some kind of a plan is what is going to be discussed, whatever that plan was, all right? Um, even who, it doesn't matter who's the one who's stagnating more. It doesn't even matter because I feel like you, both of you were kind of waiting for something and there's going to be some communication about that. I mostly see it as you um, being the one to initiate this conversation, although of course it, it could be your person, but I feel like it, there's going to be a plan that is going to be talked about as to how to make this connection work all right with the two of cups here let's see the knight of cups for the potential outcome all right the ace of wands and the eight of pentacles all right okay so i feel like whatever this plan is that is going to be discussed um it's actually it's actually going to manifest, like it's actually going to be put into practice. It's not going to um, stay just in the theoretical realm, like just in words. I feel like it's actually going to be put into action here. All right, because following that page of cups, which is the communication, we have the knight of cups, like actually following through with the plan, putting in that effort and really being focused on it. Ace of wands, like taking that action with passion wanting to bring something back to life and doing whatever it is that is necessary in order for that to happen. So I do see those steps taken here. And all of that is moving towards love. So a little bit complicated, Gemini. Um, if this made sense for you, please do let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what your situation is if you wanna share. So it looks pretty positive here. All right, so Gemini, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have blessed. Okay, we just had this for, I wanna say Capricorn, not sure, but I think it was Capricorn. Um, definitely have Virgo, Leo, and Libra on the table. I didn't call those out. Pisces as well, Scorpio, just calling some of them out um, real quick. But definitely could be that you're dealing with any sign, all right? Just calling out what I see. So yeah, blessed. The, there's, you're having divine guidance, basically. This is exactly what I said to Capricorn for this card as well. This connection is blessed. You are blessed. Follow your intuition, all right? This is like, to me, this is like the star card. Wish is coming true. Okay, moving in a direction of the heart and of fulfilling your wishes. So I feel like that is what is coming up for you. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.